Over the next few days, many of you will be spending a lot of time in close quarters with your family, and you may need a way to pass the time without killing each other or going crazy. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and these are the best classic board games for iPad. Board games are a great way to pass the time, either with friends or with family. And as many of you head out for the holidays, there's a solid chance you're going to need some form of entertainment to keep your family from going crazy. If you forgot to pick up the family favorite board game or stop by the store to pick up one on your way to grandma's house, fear not. Many of the greatest classics are available for iPad in the App Store. We sifted through some of the top rated and picked some of the best classics available. Settlers of Catan is a fantastic board game, one of my personal favorites. USM Games brought the classic turn-based strategy game over to the iPad in Catan HD. It captured the fun and challenge of the board game to near perfection. Choose two start points for your settlements and earn resources based on the number of each die roll which corresponds with the hexes adjacent to your settlement. For instance, if a 6 is rolled and your settlement is on the corner of a forest hex labeled 6, you will get one wood ration for that roll. Use resources to build cities, roads, and new settlements. Earn victory points by building settlements, cities, the longest road, and or acquiring the largest army. The first to 10 victory points wins the game. Catan HD for iPad can be played as a pass and play or against local AI and costs $4.99, a fraction of the cost of the actual board game. It's a steal. Another great digital adaptation of a classic board game is Ticket to Ride. Although it's a lot newer than the rest in our list, it's still a new classic. Gameplay is extremely simple to learn. Choose at least two railroad tickets to begin the game, and play combinations of like-colored train cards to connect your selected train stations. Some rails are color agnostic, some only accept cards of a particular color. The longer the individual route, the more points it's worth. Once the player nears the last train cards, each player will take one more turn. Based on the value of the ticket, connecting the selected cities earns bonus points, but failing to connect them will result in a loss of points. The player with the most points in the end wins. Ticket to Ride can be played solo against AI, online, locally across multiple iPads, or as a pass and play game. It may be $6.99, but it's still far less than its board game counterpart. We're currently addicted to this one. If you're into something a little more traditional, Scrabble is a great option. If you're unaware of how the game is played, letter tiles with designated values are played out from the center over a grid consisting of letter and word multipliers. The player with the most points when all letter tiles are used wins. The gameplay is smooth and includes an online multiplayer mode, though the game itself is rather expensive at $9.99. Popular Scrabble lookalike, Words with Friends HD, offers similar functionality for only $4.99. Chances are your friends are playing Zynga's version. If you're a turn-based strategy expert and Catan or Ticket to Ride doesn't grab your attention, the classic game Risk should. Your troops are deployed around the globe, and you must hold your lines and advance on your enemies by drafting and deploying new troops, attacking, and fortifying to overtake the globe. The first to control the entire map wins. It's straightforward, and the controls are incredibly easy to learn. You can play single player, pass and play, or play on a local network. Best of all, it's only 99 cents, and it's well worth the buy. Battleship is another great buy. Gameplay is simple. Arrange your naval fleet in an attempt to dodge enemy fire. Sink your enemy ships before they sink yours. There are three different play modes, classic, salvo, and super weapons. Each are available in multiplayer mode as well. The graphics aren't the greatest, but the gameplay is just as addictive as the classic board game. And it's only 99 cents. It's a great way to appease that nostalgic itch. Finally, a card game. No, it isn't technically a classic board game, but we'll let it slide. Phase 10 is a unique card game in that you must complete 10 phases. Each phase has a specific hand of cards you must acquire to play the phase. Phase 1, for instance, is two sets of three like-numbered cards. The first to pass through each phase wins. Points are acquired by leftover cards from each round. If two players pass phase 10 in the same round, the player with the lower score wins. Unfortunately, there is no multiplayer mode in phase 10, so you'll be stuck playing this one solo. Fortunately though, it's only 99 cents. That's gonna wrap this video up. If you have some board games of your own that you didn't see in this video and would like to share them, be sure to drop a comment below, like the video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to the channel. Follow us in all the usual places, Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus at PocketNow. I'm Taylor Martin. You can find me on Twitter at CasperTech, and I will see you next time.